think you're at in terms of you know, where you'd like to be? Well, I mean, naturally, you're, you're never where you want to be after two and a half, three weeks. Uh, but are you happy where you're at? Yeah, we've made a lot of progress uh, as a team. And, you know, one thing that you that you really like um, is you, we've kind of got through two days and up this point, no major injuries. We've been beat up a little bit. E-man's been out some and flu's been out some different days and uh, they've missed practice, but nothing major is going to hold them out for a long period of time. So. Overall, you know, we got a long way to go. Got a lot of stuff to keep putting in and throwing at them. But um, the one thing I couldn't ask more than what they're giving me is effort. I'm getting that from them every day. Uh, I've never had a bad day uh, from an effort standpoint. When I left that court saying, and we just wasn't, wasn't quite there today, didn't have that itch, you know, that's a good thing. Coach, talk about you two you, you mentioned effort, and when you have so much in-team competition, I'm guessing that that's part of what's spurring these guys. Talk a little bit about the difference between maybe playing six and maybe playing ten, and these guys are fighting for time. Well, there's no question competition brings out the best and the worst of you. And you know what those two definitions are, you know? Uh, there's, no, there's no room for not being at your best out there. Uh, if you're not at your best, and if you do the two things that you're in control of, and again, I'm not talking about throwing the ball away. I'm not talking about missing shots. But the two things you're in control of, if those two things slip any, effort and attitude, then, you know, um, uh, we have a lot of depth. And I think most players understand that. But the, be the biggest thing with that is not just the competition. It's the character. And you can have competition and have – Low character guys have all kinds of issues. Having high character guys with competition, uh, that's that's a good thing. You know, with all that depth, I guess, defining roles it seems like it might be important. But, you know, game by game, someone might be on, someone might be off. Um, you know, I guess, how important is you know, defining roles and, you know, I guess, where is that at? Well, you, you know this, and I've said this many a time, you know, I, I very seldom ever start best players. You know, I'll start starting five for different reasons. Um, chemistry and rhythm, um, experience. The key to everybody's team, everybody's team across the nation, it ain't one through five. It's six, seven, eight, nine. If there's a 10, there's a 10. Those are the keys to winning championships, how good your team teams are. Those guys accepting maybe a different kind of role. Uh, maybe it's not quite the minutes they would like. Maybe it's not quite uh, uh, expectations of someone else. But and like I say, I've probably got, I got eight or nine starters on this team, guys that could start any night. So I, I, don't, I don't put as much into it as, to me, as you guys do. You guys talk about starting five. Again, I very seldom ever start the best players as starting five. <clears throat> you know, uh, Jordan Rawls looked good at Pro Day. I know we talked about him being eligible. Um, you know, Davey Allen talked about you know, his growth and his maturity, um, you know, and his, his return. I guess what changes have you seen in Jordan and how important is he going to be this year? I think the biggest thing he just said it was the maturity part of it. There's no substitute for experience. He had two years of experience here, and I uh, thought he would go see if there's something better opportunity for him. And I think what's made this – even better now was uh, we give him opportunity to go experience, find something better. And then when you realize that grass is not always greener, it makes you appreciate that grass you just came from even more. And that's where he's at. Uh, he's, been, um, he's been terrific to coach. Zero issues, zero problems. And you know, he was a good player when he looked, before he left. I and mean, he started as a freshman for us. Um, all freshmen have limitations and things they get better at, but um, you know now he becomes a fourth-year guy, junior, with a lot of experience, and, and a guy now that wanted to be here in the worst way, and that's always good too. How's the progression been with uh, Manuel? You know, coming in late, very busy, very busy <clears throat> right now. Well, uh, E-Man's been one of those guys that uh, he's been beat up a little bit. 
He's had two or three little nicks and bruises that's kept him out of practice. Probably the last pro day in the last two days of practices is the first time he's really been full speed. Have him in, having him out there um, is just a huge difference. I mean, his experience, and just not being old, it's being experienced and a good player. A good player understanding how to play, a good player doing one thing, probably as, as good as anybody on his team, talking. That's one of those little things, but it's a big thing. And he may be the best on the team at doing that. So having him back out there, um, a versatile guy. You know, he's not a, he's a one through four type of player. He's been a great teammate. Um, no question, he helps us immensely. Yeah, we've talked about a lot of these guys that have come in. Money haven't talked about as much as uh, Tyrone. Uh, you guys call him Wu, right? Call him Wu, yep. What do you see him you know, bring to this team and his role in? You know, you, you watch us a little bit, and you'll, you'll see this in him. He's, he's one of those throwback guys a little bit. Um, we call him our junkyard dog. And that's a good statement because he's wide open every possession. Probably our best athlete, running and jumping. So you mix running and jumping with one of your hardest players, good combination. The next thing he has to learn is just how to play a little bit. Let the game slow down for him. But I'll take a guy that's wide open, learning how to Get to let the game slow down mentally a little bit than trying to speed up a guy to make him play hard. Uh, Wu has shot the ball better than we probably thought. Um, he's been really good for us, really good. He brings a different edge with his effort and toughness. One more for Coach. You have it? Uh, yeah, kind of off topic a little bit. We haven't really talked about it <coughs> and I know much, but you, know, you see Davion, you see Jamarion. Know some of the other guys. How much? I know you can't facilitate deals or anything like that, but how much have you kind of seen that? Um, you know, change the game and, and you know maybe be beneficial to some of these guys. Well, it's the world we're in. Uh, I think it's great that guys are able to get some help doing some things. Um, on the flip side of it, you know, where does it stop at going forward? Uh, I think that's the thing that probably everybody's trying to get their hands around. But as far as young men being able to you know, uh, benefit from some things that they can do and helping others by doing it too. I think that's great. Uh, but there's no question, it's a different world now. It's a whole different world that we're dealing with than we've ever dealt with before. Then you compound that with the portal, you better be able to adjust and roll on. And like I say all the time, I tell my coaches this, is, Nobody wants to hear excuses about NIL, why you can't get a player or keep a player. Nobody wants to hear any excuses about the portal. And I'm speaking for every coach. At the end of the day, when you throw that ball up or you kick that ball up, whatever it is, only things that matter then are what? W's and L's. That's the end of the day. That's what matters. And we got to adjust to those things. What was your answer? I said on the field or on the court. On the field or on the court. Okay, let's close then. Close. Right. Got me? You good? Everybody else good? Thank you. I got to rush out, guys. Some of y'all coming.